This video is made by Jeffrey Lowe 666. First, just download the two files on your right. I should there should be two links there. Download the first one, then the second one, then click on start. Then just go to computers. Go to wherever you saved them. Extract them. There's actually not much in these files, so it should be pretty quick. If it's slow, don't blame me. Don't blame the files. Blame your computer. Let's go to the first one, 0201, go to MS root, copy the C plugins, then just connect it to your PSP, connect your computer to your PSP, Open it up. Whatever game you're in. Go to USB connection. Then you're on. Just continue without saving anything or scanning open up the folder all you just need to do pretty simple just paste it paste the C plugins folder there should be really quick then go back go to the MS root 371 I mean, uh, I mean excuse me go to the beta 371 of the other folder highlight all of them copy go to the C plugins in your MS root um, in your PSP paste they should ask you a few things to re copy and replace something then go to your PSP press home then turn off the power entirely Turn it on, holding the R. Should be redirected to this page. Go to plugins. Enable them. Enable all three of them. Then exit. Exit the recovery screen. Go to your memory stick or UM or UMD disk. Then click on any game. Mine has custom firmware, so yeah. You just gotta wait. At the start screen, click on select for three seconds. Should it should appear on this screen. Click on enable cheats under select cheats. Then go to select cheats. Then enable. Then just click on any cheats you like. So press select to save. Go back. Go back. Press start. Then all you just need to do is create a new driver.
or a new profile, anything. This video is made by Jeffrey Low 666.